This is a code walkthrough for the example file looping while type safe.java. This is exactly the same example as a prior code walkthrough, except we've added one important thing. We've added type safe checking of some input. So let's compare this to the prior example, which was type unsafe. And what we've done, if you look at it closely, is we've put type safe checking in between this data prompt and this data read. So this is type unsafe, but here's type safe. And what we've done is we've just spliced this while loop in between those two lines to perform the type safe checking. So what we're doing here is we're peering ahead in the input stream and we're using this hasNextInt method to look ahead, sort of a scouting mission if you will, and check if the next data in the input stream can be transformed into an int. If that's not the case, this continuation condition is true and we enter the loop. We read that data in as a string in its entirety, set it equal to this garbage variable, which is just a string we've set up, and we just ignore it. We dump it on the ground and we reprompt the user, perhaps in a little more pointed fashion, for an integer age, and then we come back around again. We keep doing this over and over and over again until we finally read in something that's an int, at which case this entire condition with a not preceding it becomes false. And at this point, we know that we have a safe integer to read in as an age and we can echo it out. So as always, let's compile this code. Let's set a breakpoint on this and let's run through this with the debugger step by step. We're setting up a scanner. We're prompting the user for an age. And let's say we put in something like this, 50.0. That's not an int. That's a float or a double. That can't be transformed into an int due to the decimal point. But we'll try to read it in anyway. So the question is, input has next int is going to be false. The not of a false is true. So this entire loop condition loop continuation condition is true. So we enter this loop, we read in the entire line of data, and we simply ignore it. We reprompt the user. Let's say we put in a string like this, 50 as a string. We check it. It's not an integer. So again, we read it in as a string, dump it on the ground. We just ignore it. We reprompt the user again, and let's say this time we enter the expected 50. We're going to check that. Now, in looking ahead, yes, the next thing coming down the pike is an integer, so this entire condition will fail. We're done with the loop, and now we know that we can safely read in whatever's queued up next in the input buffer as an age, and we can print it out. Let's run this again without the debugger. I'll finish running it. I'll clear the input here. And let's just free run this a few times. 50.0. Won't cut it. Little niece or nephew is five and a half years old. Nope, that's not going to work either. 34.7. Some string. That's not going to work. Some gibberish at the keyboard certainly isn't going to work. More gibberish not going to work. But if I enter an expected integer, now it's going to work. So by adding this, this simple while loop in between our prompt and the read of the data, we can ensure that we do type safe input checking. And this is a nice application and utilization of the while loop.